Hello everyone, I am Rishikesh Kumar of Standard 9th. I am 14 years old and uh, as for uh, <coughs> uh, now my project is on the air pollution. Now as you all know that as Google organized a Google Science Fair and from my curiosity I have participated in the Google Science Fair. Now as we all know that air pollution is increasing day by day and have adverse effect on earth so keep this very problem in my mind i have prepared a very good project that will reduce co2 and now the question is how can we control air pollution and now before this you have to know what do you mean by air pollution now the air pollution the pollution which is caused by you that is called air pollution and now the question is that how can we control a air pollution now the air pollution is controlled by many ways such as plantation of trees and less use of less amount of fauna particles <coughs> now now air pollution now there are many gases which are exhaust from the vesicle like co2 n2 s2 and that they, they have usual meaning and their uh, their real meaning is nitrogen sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide and it is start now these gases like co2 n2 s2 and other gases which are exhaust from our vesicle and now these gases pollute our environment as well as global warming global warming is not only caused by air pollution it is caused by many pollution such as water pollution soil pollution as well as we are we are all already we are now making a project now in these gases the amount of co2 is too much as pollutant and now the amount of co2 gas is very very harmful for our health and now as for my knowledge in usa and china there are two air pollution that causes exhaust from the trucks car and and uh, i think that uh, air pollution is not caused by only this very uh, exhausting of a uh, gases from vesicle it is also a caused by burning of foreign particles such as uh, uh, burning of foods uh, is also now we will explain this project now let's see how this will be work suppose that the all the air there is a exhaust pipe of the vehicle means uh, the air will be getting out from the catalytic converter that is CO2, N2, S2 and other gases. There is a more amount of CO2. So all the gases will be all the gases will be go into the go through this pipe and uh, there is a carbon filter in which the pre-filter is fitted. There uh, if there is a odor and a smell it's all will be absorbed by this carbon filter that is wrapped with pre-filter now the, all the gases will be raised up and there is a large amount of CO2 will be rise up and pass through the pipe. Now the pipe is set up into the, there is a water tank. The pipe is deep, deeply insert into this tank. There is a water. In this, uh, in this case, the CO2 will be react with water in the gaseous form. As we all know that uh, in the case of fish, in liquid, in aquatic life, the the fish, uh, ex the fish exhale the CO2 that is reacts with water. Now, there is a carbonic acid that you, we can see that here. It's a carbonic acid, H2O plus CO2 that will form H2CO3. Means we can also show that carbonated water. Pause. We hope that our project makes change in our environment and due to unavailable of material, this is a only a model. And if we are luckily selected in regional finalists, we will show the working models. And thanks Google.